I think Blissey EX is a pretty underrated deck right now within our current standard format. Blissey is a very tanky card, and with all these different cards in the format that can make it even more tankier and hard to KO, it makes for a pretty fun, bulky deck right now, especially if you're playing against a deck like Charizard or Dragapult. I'm pretty excited to show off my new Blissey list here in the Stellar Crown format. So welcome back, everybody, to a brand new Pokemon t Live Stellar Crown deck video today. I'm showing off a deck that I think is super underrated right now within our current format, and that is, of course, Blissey EX, one of the tankiest Pokemon to play right now, and a very fun tank heal deck here we got blissey it got a lot of hype when twilight masquerade first came out but never really took off anywhere but i'm gonna be revisiting the deck in today's video now the idea of blissey of course we're trying to keep it alive as long as we can with the support of cards like monkey dory hero's cape as the ace spec and charon's care to pick up and heal our blissey making it very annoying to ko now the strategy of the deck is blissey sits there tanks a hit and then uses his ability happy switch which allows you to move an energy a basic energy around on your board to another one of your Pokemon. You can only do it once per turn. However, you can chain Happy Switch. So if you have like three Blissey in play, you can Happy Switch three times in a row. You can move Dark Energy around on your board onto multiple different Monkey Dories and chain Adrenabrain, moving three damage counters off of your Blissey. So not only are you doing more damage with Monkey Dory, but you're also healing your Blissey, which is really, really good. Blissey does have 300 HP. Again, if you put a Hero's Cape on it, it has 400 HP. Its attack return isn't bad either. It does 180 damage for three colorless energy. So if you put a double turbo energy on it, you can do 160, but then you can attack for just two energy. Then you get to draw cards until you have six in your hand, making it really hard to slow down the deck. If you just constantly spam Ionas against them, like Blissey could just sit there and turn over and over again and keep building up its hand, which is kind of the strategy that we're trying to go for here with the deck. Now there is one bad matchup Blissey has, and I think we still have to play it. That is, of course, going to be the Farigaraf. Blissey really struggles against Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt just won a regional, which Loki, I maybe should have done this video before. Louisville didn't know Raging Bolt was going to win the tournament, though, but you know what? We got to play the Farigaraf. It's basically just here because if you put this into play against Raging Bolt, you pretty much just win the game. I mean, they can attack you with Sandy Shocks or Slitherwing, but then you can Dirty Beam them. It's got the ability Armor Tail, where you prevent all damage on this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's basic Pokemon EX. So, literally, the only thing they can attack you with is, like, yeah, the Sandy Shocks are the wing. I was trying to think of anything else. Like, if they play a Mew, I guess they can use Mew against you. But you can hit them for weakness and one-shot them with Dirty Beam. You just put a Psychic and a DT on it and Farigraph one-shots. And like I said, that's really the only bad matchup Blissey has is Raging Bolt. And that's why we're going to play the Farigraph to help beat that matchup. Now, before you do get the video, shout out to the sponsor, TC Evolutions. If you're looking to get any of TC Evolutions' awesome product over on their website check them out link down below if you want to get some damage counters ability to use markers all that stuff they got all that down there if you get anything at tc evolutions at the checkout use my discount code code ldf to get yourself a discount on your purchase to support the channel and support tc evolutions too so shout out to them and check them out link down below and you can also check out the other sponsor card cavern tc2 of course if you're looking to get any pokemon TCG Live Pack. Let's get them over at Card Cabin if you're looking to pick up Stellar Crown Codes or an older set or IRL TCG singles and product card councils. All of that over there. If you get anything at Card Cabin at the checkout, use my discount code code LDF for a 5 cent discount on your purchase. Help the channel help yourself out and up our Card Cabin. So shout out Card Cabin. Check them out. Use code LDF. Link down below. And check out the second channel down below if you want to get some extra content from me. I just looked at every single deck that got day two at Louisville Regional. So check that video out down below. All right. Here's the list for playing the video. Um, yeah, big fan of the deck. I like the list a lot. Um, I have seen some lists in Japan um, with Blissey playing Cornerstone Ogre Pond in the deck, too. It's not a bad idea. It would help a little bit more into, like, Charizard, which is one of your better matchups. But having the Ogre Pond would be nice, obviously. So maybe that's something you consider playing. But then you have to play Fighting Energy. And you already have, like, two different energy types. I'm not, like, a big fan of it. But could be an option you could go for. Um, we are playing a bunch of different tools in the deck, though. Other than the Hero's Cape, there are other important cards, like the Devo, which, again, is helpful against Dragapult and Charizard. But we do have Turbo Energize as a way to get energy into play. If we go second, we can put a bunch of energy in play for Blissey. Um, sometimes Blissey can fumble with energy attachment, so having the energy itself Turbo Energize is nice. And then we have Rigid Band for a little bit more of extra bulk, giving your Stage 1 Pokemon um, an extra bit of bulk because they take 30 less damage. So Blissey, effectively, they have to do 330 damage to want to KO this beastly card. And then the supporter account is pretty simple. Four Arvin, two Charon's Care. Uh, gear is really important, actually, to chain supporter cards. Effectively, with Return, you know, if you're looking for Charon's Care, you go Return into a Poke Gear. You're like, okay, didn't find Charon's Care, but now I can Poke Gear try to find the Charon's Care. So Poke Gear is really nice just to, like, not break. The other thing, too, the deck doesn't play a Drongen. Your Drongen is your attack. So we're playing the Gears to help us out. Now, the other last card I want to mention was the Chansey Split. I know some people are going to be like, why are you not playing four Chansey with Lucky Bonus? Well, 110 HP over 120 HP, well, not a very big difference 
can sometimes make a difference. That's why we're playing the split of the two. Also, this Chansey can attack Cornerstone Ogre Pond for what it's worth. So there is some value in that with playing this two Chansey split. It is nice to still have this, though. If you prize Lucky Bonus Chansey and you have a prize spot open and you take it off the prizes, you can take an extra prize. So it's still worth playing this card. I like having the split of the two Chanseys. Also, if you run into Lost Box, which to get second place in Louisville, Cramorant can one-shot and donk you. So that's why it is nice to have the 120 HP sometimes. So I like still having the split of the two Chanseys. Um, in the deck. It would be really insane if Bouflant worked at Blissey, by the way. You could use Bouflant technically to make your Chansey's bulkier, but you don't really care about that. That's not really relevant. Fan Rodom also doesn't work with Chansey, which would have been pretty good. So some of the new cards, unfortunately, did not make Blissey any better, but it would have been cool if it did. But let's go show off the deck in action and see why Blissey is kind of underrated right now in our current format. I right, we see a Rodom. Interesting. Not sure what this is. We drew a DT. That was a good top deck. Now, they are going second, but they have a Rodom in the deck. Do I dare bench other Pokemon? Because I low-key kind of just want to Ultra Ball I mean, because we have guaranteed Blissey, right? They did go second, though. They could be playing Charizard, which is fine. I'm just going to pass. If it's Charizard, it's fine. I don't think I'd rather just hold the hand. I don't know. If they have a Donk, so be it. But, it, like, Donk, there's no Donk deck I can think of that plays a Rodom. Like, maybe it's Maridon, but, like, I don't think it is. I, I don't know. We're going to see. It's probably, like, Charizard or Dragapult or something. They did choose to go second, so... We shall see. Because then we have turn two Blissey. Potentially, we can just research Ultra Ball. Oh, and they just instant charge. Well, I don't play Vitality or anything, so I can't KO them. So there's that. But we do it. Dark Energy, which is good. See if we can find Iono real quick, I guess. We have the Giraffe in there. On the off chance, we might need it. Do I want to Iono? They didn't do anything, though, to be fair. I don't really know if I want to Iono. Honestly, Arvin's probably just fine. We just Arvin for, like, Nuss Ball. Rigid Band or something. Yeah, I'm down. I don't know what I'm playing against either. That's the other thing, too. Let me just get another Chansey for now. Seems okay. You just hold the hand. Honestly, I should have got rid of the Poke Gear then if I was going to keep... I should have kept the boss. Whatever. Return. Nice. More stuff. Got Monkey Dory. Research. Yeah, I should have probably kept the boss, but we'll see what this even is. It's probably Charizard. They just did an instant charge, so I, I don't know what to tell you. Beats me. There's a Buddy Poffin, yeah. So it's like Charizard or Dragapult. Both matchups are fine. We do play Monkey Dory, which is good. Devo. Devo is kind of our ticket to beating Charizard, which is what makes this matchup pretty good, I think. See, so they pop in four, though. Yeah, it's Charizard. If it's Dra Dragapult, is another good matchup. I think Dragapult is better than Charizard in terms of, like, matchups, but Charizard's pretty solid, I think. It's not the worst matchup we could have played against. All right. Another Charmander coming down. Are we going to take a two-prize lead? It looks like my opponent is letting me take two prizes here. They attached, so I doubt they're gonna. Yeah, I should have kept the boss because I could have just boss Pidgey here or something. Should have kept the boss. They can dust nor me next turn. Actually, if they get Duskull down here. It's kind of scary. We I mean, didn't find probably Iono off this Poke Gear. Yeah, I should have kept the boss. I should have got rid of the Poke Gear and kept the boss. If I knew, I was just gonna hold the hand. Ooh, and they boss me up. So now I need another chance. See or Blissey. Look at that. It's fine. They waste a boss. Okay, we want to find Iono Chansey here. That's the plan. Or Blissey, sorry. All right, well, Nuts Ball. Grab another Chansey. Pokegear. I'll take the Iono. I mean, if I whiff, really not the end of the world. I don't want to whiff, though, to be fair. But getting rid of their giant 11-card hand seems pretty good. All right. We got Switch. Works for me. Works for me. All right, let's Vessel. Fail it. Knock him out. Draw some more cards. Seems good. Yeah, getting rid of that 11-card hand seemed pretty important. All right, let's see what we got. No Chansey, but... Or Blissey. I keep calling Blissey Chansey for some reason. What, what am I doing, man? Our right, surprises. There we go. There's a Blissey. We probably get it stamped or Iono. As long as our Blissey doesn't die, which... I don't think our Blissey's getting knocked out here. With our current board state right now, it's not looking likely. Unless my opponent goes Thornton, Dusknor, Pidgeot, Charizard, Shenanigans. I don't know. They got to cook. Yep, there's this. Honestly, depending on how this plays out, I think we might just knock out Duskull. Because I actually, Dusknor is the only thing that maybe gives my opponent the advantage. Because, like, before the Charizard matchup was pretty good. But now that they have Dusknor, it does make things a little bit more complicated. I'm not going to lie. The Dusknor is kind of annoying for us to deal with. So, I mean, we're, the problem is we're losing our hand, though. I'm not sure we're going to be able to use Monkey Dory. Had I got another Blissey out here, we could have been able to Monkey Dory. Because I'm happy switch, but I can't. 
Maybe a Vibra Prom, actually. We'll see what they do. They could be playing Templar Hammer, which could be annoying, too. They're probably going to go Unfair Stamp. But they also need Rare Candy Charizard Pidgeot, though. Do they have everything off of the Iono? Can they pull off the exact combo needed to pull off the double Stage 2 board state? We're going to find out. Probably. Charizard always has the nuts. They could price Forest Seal, maybe. They did mention Luminion. It's a nice two-prize knockout. We can go Monkey Dory return knockout. Boss, though. <laughs> I was trolling and got rid of Boss. Sharon's Care be good here. I don't think the hand is stained, but honestly, in a perfect world, my opponent does not get rid of my hand. This hand is really good. So I'm really hoping we just get to keep the hand. But I don't think we are. I think they're going to get an unfair stamp this turn no matter what. Assuming that's their A-spec. Could be a Hero's Cape. Could be Prime Catcher. Could be... Max Bell, that'd be pretty bad. If we'd Max Bell have knocked me out, no, they'd still be 10 short. All right. What do they got? They grabbed Defiance Band. An Ultra Ball. They can't knock out Blissey this turn. Even if they go Defiance Band Charizard, they're still 30 off, which is good. It's fine. Yeah, I definitely like killing the Dustnor next turn with Monkey. This is why when I keep the hand. They didn't get stamped or anything, so... Might be looking pretty good. They might just have a really awkward hand here. That's why I wanted to Iono that 11-card hand away. Research could have got me the Blissey that I was looking for, but, like, Iono felt pretty good when their hand was 11 cards, plus, like, the other row. Yeah, they got nothing, bro. All right. So now we get to set up our board a little bit more. Hmm. Get rid of a DT share. I want to keep the Artisan in case of a collapsed stadium but i also don't want to put artisan down quite yet it's a little a little too early to play artisan you know kind of want to get boss not gonna lie i kind of want to kill dusk if, if i knock out charmander they can one shot blissey next turn which is a little scary kind of want them to not be able to one shot me passing isn't a bad play either like i, I legit think passing here is also not no but they can still get dust more kind of annoyed i killed that rotom Hmm. They have that Ultra Ball for Fez, obviously. I'm down to just pass. It's kind of a Chad move, but, like, I'm down to just not take a knockout. Because I don't want them to one-shot Blissey. I mean, they, they can't one-shot it next turn exactly with the Defiance Band because of the Rigid Band, but they can Dust Clops me or something and knock me out. Plus, I could lose. This matchup is all about using Monkey Dory, right? So I think we want to try to just leave how it is. I really regret running that boss, man. Killing the Rotom, honestly, is not ideal for us. It's not ideal. Let's see what they do. There's Arvin. We want them just to swing into me here and just put some damage on me so I can put some damage on the board. They could counter catch her KO a Monkey Dory, maybe. We'll see if they have Rare Candy, Pidgeot, Rare Candy, Charizard. No way they have Rare Candy, Charizard, Pidgeot, and Dustnor. If they had that, I mean, this person, I mean, world champion right here, bro. I doubt they got all that. It's so unlikely. There's Ultra Ball. Also, by not killing Charmander, we don't, we don't just get, like, randomly stamped knocked out. Because they probably have a knockout on Blissey if I took out the Charmander. Ooh, Manaphy and Radzard. Okay. Even if I got boss off Poke Gear, would I have KO'd anything? I don't even know if I would have. I maybe would have just hit Luminion too. I don't know. I just want them to hit my Blissey first. I might just have to play chicken for a bit. We'll see. There's Charizard. Not getting Pidgeot. Interesting. Yeah, they also don't really have probably much going on in their hand. Judging from the Radzard discard, their hand could be a little grief. So it's like, I'm down for this. They could just counter catch your Monkey Dory here, obviously. Which, you know, whatever. I have another one in my hand. It's not a big deal. Let me just hit them for 160. And they could go around the Blissey for a while, which is kind of annoying. That's one thing they do have going for them. They can go around the Blissey, kill the Monkey Dories. We just want them to attack into my Blissey. We want them to attack into Blissey. I don't know if they're going to do that. They did waste a boss earlier, though, which is one of their gut. They have Palpa, but like, there's no Pidgeot on the board currently. And Forest Steel seems to be prized. Ooh, the A spec is Hero's Cape. Okay, that does complicate things. Not by too much, though, because, I mean, we just, I mean, we do have to put a bit, a bit of damage on this Charmander, but that's fine. Okay. This is good. They hit into me, which is what I wanted them to do. Okay, so let's go DT here. And it's time to heal. Now, the question is, what am I doing? Am I knocking out Duskull? We have 98. I mean, they have a two-card hand. They didn't play a supporter. 
I think we just pile up some damage across the board for now. We can Charon's Care, too. Oh, but if I... No, no, we're fine, we're fine. I thought I screwed up, but I didn't. So we can Charon's Care the Blissey. Just hit into the Charizard. We want to get some damage on them for the Hero's Cape. I guess I only really needed 30 on them. We can go Charon's Care, Evolve, Happy Switch. Yeah, cool. Rigid Band, Bench U, Happy Switch. Smack him. I maybe should bench a Monkey Dory in case they play Collapse Stadium, but it's not really a point. It's not like they're attacking Blissey next turn anyways. Just want to set up this thing to be Devoed. Or maybe KO Charizard on our turn, if possible. Again, they're also not doing anything with their hand. Their hand seems to be pretty dead. Or not, they had Iona. They're trolling. See, the Iono gives me... I do need that Dark Energy, so we'll see if we can find anything on the Iono. It's pretty good, actually. Palpad, Boss, Ultra. That's pretty solid. I might even play the Boss. We'll see. I mean, they could still knock me out if they hit Rare Candy Dustnor, which is kind of cringe, but I mean, we'll see if they find that. I mean, they actually kill me here. I can't attack them. They don't have it. Very good. Shoosh. Shoosh? That's not even a word. Okay. But now we're faced with an interesting decision. How do I play this turn out? So I'm going to Ultra Ball away these for my other Blissey. I need to find energy. Not getting energy down here is actually pretty annoying. Hmm. I don't think I KO Charizard. I mean, they could have a Turo. Getting them Turo would be pretty bad, but uh, I don't know. Do I just KO this Zard? And then they're doing 300 damage. We just have to one-shot one more Zard. Put 60 on. I have to put all the damage on the Charizard to kill it. I think I gotta go for the knockout. I think we just kill the Charizard. Screw it. I don't really have much of a choice but to kill Charizard. I mean, there's a, a very unlikely chance they have Turo in their hand. But, like, they could also just have, like... They could just they could just have it like that. Yeah. Just better see. I actually could lose if they Turo here. Turo would lose me the game. The odds they do have it are pretty low. And they've already played Luminion down and stuff. They can't Fez, but... I don't know, man. I hate playing against Charizard. They could also have Candy Pidgeot Turo, so it's, like, probably correct to just kill Charizard. We can put back Boss, Arvin. Don't really need Iono. Do I even really need the Boss, to be honest? Yeah, probably. Eh, probably not, to be honest. Probably didn't need Boss, just in case. Yeah, it's fine. We'll knock out Charizard. Because, yeah, if they just, like, have Turo, we're kind of screwed. We also force him to have, like, more stuff. We got... Devo and Heroes Cape. Now it's our two prizes. Okay. I don't think this hand is going to be sticking around, unfortunately. If they knock me out with Dustnor here, it's also pretty bad. The problem with this play is now we give them Fez and Dippity, right? It's also a bit of an issue. We give them Fez, which is pretty bad. Yep, speak of the devil. Here it comes. Fez and Dippity. Not the bird, no. This could get awkward. Not having more energy on the board is kind of annoying. Maybe should have put the DT on the board. I don't know. This kind of sucks. We'll see if they can do this turn. They have played one candy. There's a very good chance they get Pidgeot out here, which is kind of scary. Maybe they prize for the Charizard. They put the Charizard back with the Raw. That tells me their other Charizard's prize, because Zardless usually usually play two Zards. We'll see how well they draw. They could be they could be prizing Charizard and Forest Seal, which is good. Never mind. They drew into it, of course. Do they have a Iono, though? Because we know they're not playing stamps, so do they have an Iono is the question. Iono would be pretty annoying. This hand is honestly pretty good. This hand is pretty good. Do they have an Iono? If they have Iono, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad they have an Iono. They could also go just nor knockout, maybe. No, we have 150 HP I'm trolling. They can't just nor me. They could just nor Monkey Dory, but I don't think that really matters. Because we can go Heroes Cape, Blissey, Iono. Yeah, that seems fine. Because the problem is if they Iono me and I whiff an energy, we might we probably just lose the game. Because then they just start one shotting all my Blisseys. Because I'm at two prizes. Thank heavens. No Iono. All right, bless up. Can't win this turn, unfortunately. But we can smack in a Charizard here with a Heroes Cape, Blissey. And we can Iono them. If they have a vacuum, though, we might lose. That's something we have to be very mindful of 
We would have drawn the energy anyway. It's good to know. Do I ever boss something up here? No, I think it's Iono. I mean, if they, if they kill Blissey, the game probably just ends. So it is what it is. <laughs> if Blissey dies, it's Jover. It's totally Jover. If not, we have game next turn, probably. So we'll see. There's boss. All right, here we go. Did I own them into a vacuum? Let's see. Do they play a lost vacuum or jamming tower? There's a good chance they do. If I was playing tower right now, I would play a vacuum. We're about to find out if they got it like that. Let's see what do they got. Can they do it? They're down two Arvins, too. They have to, like, draw into, like, the perfect cards here. Plus, whatever they got off the prizes is now at the bottom of the deck, which is also good. They can't play Fez. Luminion's already in play. The Rotom's in the discard. They don't seem to have four seal. We might be cooking. Ultra Ball, that's fine. They have Rare Candy Pidgeot, maybe not so fine after all. They could be getting Dusclops. Dusclops, does that let him knock me out? Hold up. Okay, yeah, they could Dust Snore me too. Wait, does Dusclops kill me? 350, oh my god, they can knock me out with Dusk Nor or Dusclops. Okay, never mind, they're counter catching. Hold up. This is bad too, though. Well, no. Okay, hold up. No, we're fine. This is fine. This is fine. They didn't evolve the Duskull, which is strange. Not sure why they did that. Okay, we can still win this. We don't have game this turn, though. Do I just die Yono them again? I think I do. I think. Do I want to Iono? Okay, we'll go Artisan. Attach. Just. Iono, play the Artisan. Shuffle the deck. Try to redraw. Yeah, this is fine. We'll Iono them. Okay. Cool. We see, like, Devo or something next turn. I think they had a knockout because they could have went Dusclops on my Blissey. Hit it with Charizard Defiance Band for an extra 60 damage. That would have been a knockout. They actually had a kill on Blissey last turn. I don't know if they saw that or not. I mean, thank heavens they didn't because that would have been disgusting. I hate Charizard so much. Why does that have Dust Norman? They actually legit could have just won the game last turn. I'm surprised they didn't do that. And there's boss. Let's go. They could still draw an Iono off my Iono, obviously. It's not guaranteed, but they also have to move Charizard to the active spot. So we might have this wrapped up. Maybe shouldn't have attached to Monkey Dory, but to be fair, we can also just mind bend for game two, right? If somehow if my opponent knocks me out this turn, we can just mind bend. No, they just win if they knock me out. They, let's see if they just have game. Let's see. I'm trying to think. They could Briar, but they can't counter catch a Briar, so that's off the table. All right, we'll see. I think my opponent screwed up by not going Dusclops. Unless they were trying to Briar me. I don't know why they didn't. I mean, they didn't even put the Dusclops down, which is so weird. I don't know what they're doing. They literally could just kill my Blissey last turn and just would have won the game probably on the spot. I am very surprised. That they did not do that. That's crazy to me. Misplay on their end. I think the thing that really made this matchup hard for me was knocking out the Rodom. Probably should never have. I mean, honestly, in second row, I should have just passed. I killed the Rodom legit probably would have lost me this game. So looking back, Kale and Rodom was a mistake this whole time. Okay, let's see if they have it. I have game in hand. They have to go Iono, Smack, but uh, then I just go Monkey Dory for a game. They have to just kill Blissey this turn. I just have game in hand. They, they could go Iono pass, which is kind of diabolical, but I don't think that's going to do much if they can't really do much with their draw at the moment. Their Rotom's gone. I'll say Iono into a Night Stretcher or a way to find Rotom. Then that's pretty bad. Yeah, they have to retreat. But I just have Boston. They have to go retreat Iono, but now they have to manually attach to Charizard. Like, they're just cooked. This is not this is not the play that they can really make that can stop me. I just have game in hand. Boss? Ah, uh, not the... Man, eh, we still have game, right? Yeah, yeah. double, double Blissey gets us there. It's fine. I'm, yeah, I think this game. To be fair, my opponent did misplay. They misplayed. I might have misplayed a bit too by killing the Rodom. DT on Fez, sure. Yeah, they got a zero card hand. We're cooking. But yeah, we have game. We can just go, oh, DT top deck there. It's, never mind. It's over. We just go do this. Happy switch. I could even just KO the Pidgey this turn, and I'd still be fine. But you know what? 
Boston Zard works too. This matchup is a lot better, I think, if you can use the Monkey Dories a bit more effectively. But I might have made a few misplaces this game with how I manage my knockouts. You never want to go too far ahead against Charizard, especially with a deck like this. Because, like, we got into a position where my opponent easily could have one-shot Blissey. So we take those. But, as you can see, Blissey is not bad in the Zard. And we got there with a the dub. And I'm glad I Palpatted that boss back. That ended up actually being very relevant in the end. All right, we have Terrapagos. We'll have to see how this goes. Uh, yeah, pass, I guess. Not the greatest start ever, but it could be worse. We have Arvin. We don't have DT, which is kind of an issue. I don't want to have a slow start against Tropico, so that does not feel very good. Not much I could do about that, unfortunately. Fan Road would be cool if there was a Chansey with 100 HP, but I don't think there is, so it doesn't work with it. Yeah, here he comes. Tropagos. I don't know if they're playing Bouflon, which is good. Bouflon's kind of annoying for us to deal with, so that's nice. They don't one-shot Blissey. Like, if we get to set up, I think this matchup's actually pretty good. Just can't set up currently at the moment. Just a problem. We need to find stuff and fast. And there's a Dust Call, which is not good. They just pass. All right, what's our draw? Another energy. No, not what I'm looking for. All right, well, Arvin for, like, now we priced Turbo Energize. I mean, I was going to grab that, but I guess not. Oh, okay, we'll grab Poke Gear, sure. I'm not sure that's correct or not. Hmm. Keep the Night Stretcher just in case they knock me out. It's going to be a Hero Escape and Prey Angle. I'm down. I'm I mean, yeah, this is the best I got. That's <laughs> the best I can do. I can't really do much else. I just got to pray Poke Gear gets us a supporter next turn. So that's our plan. Maybe should have kept the Arvin over the Night Stretcher. My opponent could just kill Chansey, right? And I just got the Chansey back. I want to make sure I still have Pokemon on the bench. So I think it's fine to keep the Night Stretcher. Like, I mean, yeah. We're going to lose the game if we whiff anyways, like, basically. Like, doing the Arvin wouldn't really do me any favors anyways. Like, I guess I could return, but I'm still behind energy attachments. You fall behind too much against Trabagos, you just get absolutely just run over, so... I think just playing it a little bit safer is the way to go in this situation. Just go for the poke gear and like, oh, if it hits, it hits. Whatever. My opponent could play a vacuum. I mean, they could theoretically kill Chansey if they draw well enough, which, I mean, they do have the Tropagos Noctowl combo with the Pidgeot probably going down this turn. And, of course, having the Dusknor, which is also kind of cringe. So there's things they can do. We also can't Charon's Carry Ballistic, which kind of sucks. Just not the greatest start on our edge. A bit too, bit too slow of a start against a deck super fast. It's not great. Slow starts against really fast text. This doesn't feel very good. Nothing I can really do about this, though. Here comes the nuts. Yep, Chirabagos, Pidgeot. Second Noctowl. In. Can they knock me out is the question. Because currently they can only do 220. 350 with a Dusnor, which is a lot of damage. A little bit too much damage. Honestly, a little, a little too good. But will it be enough? Let's find out. And yeah, Gear's got to get us an Ionor research. And we're in the game. Yeah, they're going for the gear. They're going to kill the chances. That's why I kept the Night Stretcher. See, keeping Night Stretcher might have been a good play. We can always find another Arvin on the gear anyways, right? So it's, like, fine. But now they can set up, like, double dust on my Blissey, which is kind of bad. Like, it's just not a good spot to be in. It's just not a good spot. Well, we'll see what happens. Just double Hutu. Okay, only one Dust Gall in play, which is actually fine. All right, what are they doing? Prime, sure. We need to make sure we can at least attack and do stuff. Like, if we can stabilize, this matchup should be okay. But we aren't stabilizing, which is the issue. Oh, man. Well, poke gear and pray. Never mind. I own a top deck is real. Do I really want to give him five new cards? Well, let's see if we can find a research first. No. Okay. This is Iono. I hate doing this because I'm giving them more to work with. I mean, they have a Pidgey. I mean, they get to do anything they want anyway, so honestly, it doesn't really matter, but it feels bad. And Okay, there we go. That's what I was looking for. An Artisan is huge. So we can get rid of the stadium, which means they have to discard more Pokemon, which is good. I'm gonna make, that might make a difference. All right, well, Artisan for another Chansey. And thankfully, we hit the energy. With an energy, we probably would have just ended the game. All right, here we go. Return. Draw some cards. Okay, there we go. If I can get some more Chansey, Blissey's out, it's pretty good. If they hit into me here, we could Charon's Care. I don't have a DT, though, so probably not. I think we just gotta give up this Blissey if they hit into me. We'll see what happens. We get Monkey Dory down, though, and knock this thing out. There's actually some cool plays we can make next turn if they hit into Blissey and don't knock me out. And I actually get to play the game. I don't know if we're going to be able to play the game, but we'll see. We shall see. All right. Let's see what my opponent can do now. 
They got the Pidgeotto. Yeah, this is kind of crazy. <laughs> Such an insane deck, man. The new Gastrodon is going to save this format. Probably not, but we'll see. What are they going to grab? Are they going to Iono me is the question. They're definitely getting rid of the Artisan. Because I kind of want that to stay in play to get a Monkey Dory. But that thing's definitely getting bumped this turn. There ain't no way Artisan's sticking around. Oh, they're just getting me for 130. Okay, they're trying to set up like a crazy play here, I think, with Dustnor. But, oh, perfect. Let's go. DT is huge. They actually, but now we can just go Iono. Okay, this is actually fine. Let's grab Monkey. I want to thin the deck out a little bit before I do anything. I'm trying to think I want to Ultra Ball. Get rid of Gear Boss. So I'm just going to Iono them. Get rid of the card they quick search for. I want to just basically... I just want to get Blissey's out. Monkey Dory's good. Don't get me wrong. But I want to make sure I get Blissey's out first. So we can Iono. And hopefully find... I guess I shouldn't have Artisan then, to be honest with you. I probably should say the Artisan. Because I might move Monkey Dory, which I don't think they never punished. Let's go. Could Palpad here. Sure. Go back. Boss Iono. We can heal the Blissey. Adrenabrain, number one. Can knock out the active, which is pretty good. Happy switch again. And healing is pretty relevant. We have 330 HP, which is kind of crazy. Thanks to the healing. We get to kill the Tropagos. Bye-bye. See you later, buddy. Okay, what's our prizes looking like? Nice. Let's go. Another Monkey Dory. We'll bench it. Could have maybe burned the Nest Ball. But honestly, though, we're probably getting Iono. I'm, this is definitely going to be an Iono turn for my opponent. Yeah, and he scoop. Let's go. Okay, my opponent absolutely just clapped. Like, bro, the fact that we won this is crazy. The scoop is real. Let's go. I will happily take that any day of the week. Did they Did they have an out to winning? I mean, I don't know. We were killing the Hoot Hoot. If they popped the Dustnor, we would have had two prizes. Like, they could have still did shenanigans with Iono, but I guess my board was just too strong for them to handle. I don't know. That's crazy, bro. It didn't feel very good when my opponent had that insane turn two double knocked out Pidgeot Prime Catcher cheese, but got there in the end. My opponent scooped it up before it even mattered. And honestly, that's pretty good. See, if you get a stabilize against Tropicos, I think this matchup actually isn't that bad. All right, we had Festival Lead. I was not expecting to see this deck, but this is a pretty good matchup, I think. This is a matchup where, like, Monkey Dory really gets to shine. Um, trying to think. I want to make sure we can guarantee a supporter next turn. I'm just going to pass. We just need to find DT Blissey next turn, and we're chilling. We'll see if they got another Applin. Survival Brace. Okay, that makes things a little more complicated, actually. That's not the aspect we want to see, though. To be fair, though, we can counter that with Monkey Dory. Technically, it's actually not that bad. Tumbling Attack. Flips head. Is that ever relevant? Probably not. No tool they can put on this to do more damage. Okay, we just need to make sure we can set up. Let's see if we draw. Perfect. That's uh, probably about as good as we could have got a top deck to be. So to make sure we don't whiff Blissey. Or Blissey. We just got to make sure we don't whiff the... Whatchamacallit here. The DT, which we did not, thankfully. We did whiff another Blissey, so I can't Monkey Dory, which kind of sucks. But I'm going to get a Monkey Dory now while I'm at it. Yeah, I can't happy switch. I mean, I could heal. I think it matters. I think we just attack into them, right? Does it make a difference? Not really, no. I just I'll smack them. It's fine. We can draw more cards. Because now... Okay, per that was a really good card to get. All right, now we can happy... Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, because they're going to go probably not knock me out. No, I guess they could. They can fill their bench up. No, I, still, I don't think they can knock me out. I'm pretty sure they just can't kill Blissey this turn. They need a lot. They have a two-card hand. Let's see what they have. They have a Thwack. Yeah, that's pretty good. Those are good. Those are some pretty good cards. That's, that's, a, that's a pretty good card, too. The Iono gets rid of my Blissey, but this gives me more things to work with, so I'm okay with it. Hmm. Kind of mediocre. We can still Happy Switch, which is all that matters. Hmm. Yeah, it's not the worst hand ever, I guess. We need to get energy on the board, which we have Night Stretcher, actually, which is pretty clutch. We just need to make sure we're attaching energy every turn. to keep. We need to keep up. Rigid Band isn't bad either. They can't knock me out this turn, I'm pretty sure, because they don't play Max Belt. So, like, they're only doing 200 to me, which is not killing me. They could Vitality Band, 220, not killing me. Yeah, I don't think Blissey dies. Blissey saved this turn for sure. 
We have a lot of angles we can take. I mean, even Devo could be good, but I see they play Relors. Never mind. Unless we can kill the Rabskatch with Monkey Dory. Yeah, Devo could be an option. We have a lot of lines we can take. Let's see what we can do. I might just ditch Devo. I don't think Devo is really necessary, though, in this matchup, and I'll be honest with you. All right, let's see we draw. Ooh, boss. I like... We can kill the Thwacky, which I'm kind of down to do. Okay, let's Nest Ball. Chansey. Might just ditch Regid Band Night Stretcher. We still have Hero's Cape as an option. Hmm. It might just be that. All right, well, Happy Switch. Yeah, my, eh, we don't really need the Rigid Band. Like, I don't think it's necessary. Like, I don't see how they're doing 300 every turn. Like, they don't play Max Belt. I guess, like, Defiance Band Kieran gets them there. Maybe then it is worth it. We can go... 30 here. Relor does not block Monkey Dory's ability. I mean, just Boss KO with Wacky. You can not go Diplin. We can't go the Diplin next turn, though. Hmm. I like Bossy and Thwacky still. Bo Bossy and Thwacky still, I think, makes most sense here. To be honest. Yeah, this is fine. Do we just kill the active too? Oh, hold on. This is better. Yo, okay, I didn't even... I, for some reason, I didn't see... I forgot we could just double happy switch. This works too. Did we just knock out the active. Oh, I'm cooking. We're cooking. We could actually... Could, I mean, if they only had two applins, we could have KO'd all the applins. Okay, this works too. I forgot we just killed the active, actually. It's pretty good. Killing the active is pretty nice. All right, what's our prize? Charon's Care... It's another good card in this matchup. That's also good. Yeah, and then we can just boss. Kale Thwack. Seems good. Just shut off their engine as much as we can. I mean, they're probably still going to get the attack and knockout, but, like, this, like, just slows them down a little bit. Ooh, good prizes. All right, let's see what my opponent's got. And what can they do? Getting an Ionid here would be a little annoying because I might not be able to DT attack. So there are some awkwardness. Yo! Oh, we get to go for lucky bonus! Oh, my God. Three prize turn? No! That would have been sick. Come on. How dare you, Chansey? Oh, I put you in the deck for a reason, bro. Come on. Dang it. Oh, that would have been so cool, bro. A three prize turn. Diabolical. Dang, that sucks. Yeah, nice stretcher. Yeah. How much HP? We have 130. They need to fill their bench up still to knock me out. I mean, they can do that, obviously. This is kind of annoying because they can Iono me here. Shrink my hand. Uh, we'll see what they got. Artisan can get them. Another Grookey. Yeah, they can probably kill me. Iono knockout is actually pretty bad. Yeah. Friggin' Iono, no. We need to find research. Or DT. We have DT. We could be in trouble. Did not get DT. We did get another Blissing and Iono, though. It's not too bad. It's pretty annoying they had the Iono like that, though. I was kind of low-key hoping they, had the they didn't have it. They could thwacky for it, I guess. But still kind of sucks. Losing... Losing at the DT is not ideal. We need to find Hero's Cape. I could Arvin maybe for Turbo Energize. Maybe. I don't, they can't one-shot Blissey, right? That's kind of my logic here. They have Palpat to put the Ionos back. Not the Ionos, bro. I don't want to see those anymore. Jeez. They even found the Stadium. Damn, that's pretty good. They don't even have the Boom Boom Groove yet. Holy moly. They drew the nuts. Christ. All right. Well, we can... I don't know. If I knew Turbo Energize in the deck, I'd be tempted to go for Arvin. Hmm. Because, like, Turbo Energize is really good. Because I just get to build my board up with energy, which would solve the issue of losing DT every time they knock me out. So, I don't know. It's tempting. Especially because I put back two Ionos. Those Ionos are so annoying. I don't like them. Hmm. Now, we'll see what happens. Do I even... <clears throat> I might just give him a Chansey. I'm trying to think, do I high roll the knockout? Um, I mean, we let him hit me anyways. We can still just happy switch. Nah, we just let him hit the, hit the chant, hit the Blissey. I think it's still fine. We don't think he can one shot Blissey. It's probably fine. This matchup's harder than I thought. Apparently, it's just Diono DT getting rid of is like not ideal for us. Hmm. I'm trying to think what's better. I don't even know if Turbo Energize is in the deck. To be honest with you, I didn't really prize check. So I'm not even sure it's in there. We could get Hero's Cave. That's not going to do us anything, though. We need energy. At least I need to get energy and play this turn. That's why Turbo Energize is really tempting. I don't know if it's in the deck, though. We could always Earth and Vessel if worse comes to worse. All right, screw it. Okay, it's in there. 
What else do I want then? Ultra Ball, maybe. Nothing to get rid of with this hand. Nest Ball for. No, nothing in the deck to search for Nest Ball. I think Ultra Ball is probably the take. I'm not going to play it though. Not yet, anyways. Hmm. Yeah, this is fine. We'll see what they're able to do. The problem is, though, if they evolve their stuff, it could get pretty bad. Because then there's nothing I can knock out with uh, Monkey Dory. Because I want to take two prizes next turn. Which I can do if they don't evolve the Applin and the dip, the Relor, which they can probably do. We'll see what's up. Another Monkey Dory's prize kind of sucks. Ooh, they have a boss. No, they're going to kill a monkey. They can one-shot Monkey Dory. Okay, this is kind of bad. We can just give him Blissey, though, I guess. Yeah, this is not the end of the world. This is kind of annoying they can kill Monkey Dory in one hit. But we can... Uh, we can Iono. I'm not sure. Is it boss or Iono? It's probably an Iono. We, need to, we also need to find Charon's Care. Charon's Care is also a pretty important card to find here. Yeah, Charon's Care is pretty important to try to find at some point in this game. Every time I return, though, they're just going to Iono me, which is kind of annoying. Getting rid of the stadium is also pretty important. Yeah, one shot in my monkey is not fun. I got to give him Blissey because everything else gets one shot. Unfortunately, this guy has... If this guy had 120 HP, we'd give him the Chansey every day of the week. 110 HP, Chansey's kind of mid in this situation. This is why I like having the split. You never know when 120 HP comes in handy. Like, for example, in this scenario, it would. Could boss Thwacky. They still only have the one Thwacky in play, but I don't think it's worth it. All right, we'll see what happens. Honestly, this is still a losable game, which is kind of bad. I need to get Monkey Dory back into play. Yeah, I really need Monkey Dory. I don't like this. We actually might lose this, which is kind of sad. But the Arvin. We don't have Night Stretcher, though. It's not good either. It might be Cook, to be honest with you. Because I, I can't take two prizes this turn. Which is just not ideal. Hmm. Maybe we just set up the Applins to die. Just Iono and see where it takes us. They just knock out Monkey Dory again next turn, maybe. Okay, we got DT, which is good. Hmm. I don't know, man. We got the stadium, which is nice. And this ball, but there's just no monkeys left. Or Rod. There's no way I can get a Monkey Dory back. I need to find Hero Escape. That's another very good card to find. Getting Hero Escape there would have been really good, too, to be honest with you. All right, return, knockout. But now they just go Iono. We'll see if we get Monkey Dory with the prizes. It'd be ideal if we did. We'll see if we can find Monkey Dory. Monkey Dory? No. But yeah, we might actually lose this game. I'm not going to lie. This is not good. This is really not good. That Turbo Energy's turn was just not doing me any favors. And not having two monkeys in play is also really bad. We'll see if they got... Vitality, no, they still found Vitality Band Grass off the Iono, what? Not like this, they still found all that. Maybe I should have put 30 on the Relor, to be honest. But the problem is if I do that, they always just wacky would get the, the guy, right? So it's like no point. Maybe it was worth it to do that, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, putting 30 on this guy might have just been a mistake. But we can still Poke Gear into boss, maybe, or find boss here and just like, assuming we don't get knocked out, we can go like boss, knock out Applin on the bench or something, or Thwacky. There's still plays we can make. It's not over yet, but we'll see. We probably need to kill this thing at some point, though, with Monkey Dory. We need to have a turn where we take two prizes to win this game, I think. They're playing Pokemon Catcher. What the heck kind of list is this? What? No way. Oh, my. Wow, they flip heads. Are you kidding me, bro? That is insane, dude. No way. <laughs> Pokemon Catcher in Festival Lead. And they flip heads. No, my. That's so bad. That's ridiculous. Who plays that? Okay, they still need the stadium, but they can still just KO me. This sucks. Okay, well, they get a bug catching set. I mean, we'll see what they do. It depends on what that one card in their hand is. Maybe they whiff a basic here off this. It's possible. It's a 20 card deck. Yeah, they uh, they got thwacky. It doesn't even matter. They got thwacky. It's annoying. That catcher head is so tilting. Why can't you just attack into my blissey, bro? Do it, please. Ah, uh, we might lose this, man. Catcher Heads is insane. We need to find Hero's Cape. 
We can Charon's care this Blissey, I guess. There's still maybe a chance, but it's looking pretty grim, to be honest with you. It's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. If they have the festival. Yeah, there it is. Let's give him this guy. We can Charon's care, maybe. They didn't Iono this turn, so maybe we can Charon's care. I think at this point we might have to. It doesn't really matter what I go into. I don't think I read the stadium or anything. We have to find Charon's care. Charon's care and then like a hero's cape would be pretty good. So we'll see what we can draw. Yo, let's go. Okay, we're still in it. We're still in it. We're still in it. Barely. Do I ever bench the other Chansey? I don't think it matters. The game is bugging hard, and so I can play these energies when I can't. I don't think benching this really matters, to be honest with you. Not really, no. It doesn't make a difference if I bench that. Um. Then the hand down. Could have got rid of an energy, actually. I'm trolling. Return. Yeah, I could have got rid of energy there. Played the Nest Bowl to burn it. My bad. Can't even draw any cards. You don't know why I did that. All right, what's our prize? Not Monkey Dory. See, if I put 30 on the Reller, we could have Monkey dory did. it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We need to find, like... Are they, I don't even know if Hero's Cape matters, because, like, they just boss up a Chansey. But they can't one-shot a Chansey. So, uh, we're, we're still okay. Ideally, we just heal the Chansey again, right? We heal the Blissey, and we're chilling. They need a lot. They need to, like... They need to slow me down quite a bit here. TBH. I don't know if they have the luxury to do that. They can Iono this turn, which is pretty bad. We'll see what they can do. We can go into their Blissey next turn. There's still a chance. Yeah, there's the Rapska. They need another Applin on the bench too, though, to be fair. Like, if they don't get an Applin, this game's also over, I think. Probably. They need to, like, get their Applins back. They're out of Applins. They need to find a way to recover Applin and also stop me from, like, finding, like, a heal combo. So we'll see. Yeah, there's Iono. But can they... Do they Iono into an Applin out? Do they Iono to Night Stretcher? Do they just sack Giga hard? It's pretty bad. Let's see. Is there an Applin? They could attack with Rapska, though, actually. Could that knock me out? Maybe? I don't think so. They're doing 80 damage. 160, right? No, it's, it's close. I don't think this guy kills me. 140. No, not even close. Now we're fine. We drew Arvin anyways. Perfect. Okay, this might just wrap up the game then. Yeah. Um. Chance Care. Ultra Ball Heroes Cape. Yeah. Do this. This should, like, solidify game over. They could, like, have a boss or counter catcher and trap a Blissey, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. We still have Switch in the deck, though, so should be fine. They can't even do Thwacky's ability and they have a two-card hand. We should be A-OK. -okay. Alrighty, then. Hero's Cape Blissey for the win. Let's see if they can stop me. Iono off the prize. Our last prize is our third Monkey Dory. Unfortunate. All right, well, let's see what they got. Can they stop me? This guy does not do enough. Even without the Hero's Cape, it's only doing, what, 100 damage? Okay, they have they have the Iono off there, of course. I own it a one. Doesn't really matter. I don't think there's anything they can go into that can take a hit. They have to literally get a counter catcher here. And then somehow still be able to set up for a win in like two turns. Which I don't think is happening. So I think we just have him. Yeah, even if they have vacuum. They'd have that like vacuum the defiance band. That doesn't even get them there yet. It's just they're cooked no matter what I think. So we got there. Yeah. Even if they got counter catcher, they did Iono me into a DT, which is good. So we would have had DT anyways to like attack with the Blissey with Happy Switch. So we would have got there anyways. Kind of a close match. I, this match is closer than I thought. Uh, Monkey Dory is a really good card in this matchup, but they kind of just went around it. And like we've had a bit of a fumble turn where they just Iono spammed me out of finding DT, which was also pretty bad. But we got there. Kind of a close matchup. I did not expect this match to be that close, but we got there with the ability to just out-tank them. All right, there you have it. That is Blissey EX in action. Like I said, a pretty underrated deck right now within our current standard format. The ability to just abuse Monkey Dory is pretty good, and I really like the list that I got. I think you still need to play the Furigraph, because like I said, you're not beating Raging Bull without it. You can take the Elder Raging Bull, but I mean, honestly, it's worth playing the Furigraph. It does come up in other weird scenarios too, which is nice. So I still like having... 
for Rigoraf in the deck to beat Raging Bolt. Um, I have seen some lists in Japan using Blissey playing the Cornerstone Ogre Pond. That's another card you could consider playing within this deck, too. Um, we had some pretty good games this video. We showed off the power of how tanky Blissey can be. The Hero's Cape, the Charon's Care, the Monkey Dories really does make Blissey a mega tank and really hard to KO, making Blissey a pretty underrated deck right now, like I said, within this video. So I definitely enjoyed playing the deck here. And with, like, Dragapult and Charizard being popular on the ladder, it's not a bad, like, anti-Charizard Dragapult deck to have. Um, which is nice. So yeah, Blissey's pretty fun. Definitely give it a try if you haven't already. If you enjoyed the video on my Blissey EX deck, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the way to reaching 67,000 subs. We're actually getting really close. We're less than 100 subscribers away from 67,000 subs. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. And check out the second channel if you want to get some extra content from me too. And of course, you can also check out the sponsors, Card Cavern and TC Evolutions down below too. And that'll be for me. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll catch you on another video very soon here. Bye-bye.